I'm holding what's become one of the most popular strains of marijuana here in Colorado. This one's called Strawberry Diesel. Its name relates to how it smells, a combination of strawberry fields and diesel gas. Well, it's popular because of how it makes you feel. We're told it's supposed to bring a euphoric high, that it feels like sunshine when you smoke it. It's now one of hundreds, possibly thousands of strains of marijuana that have hit the market since it became legal to sell pot for recreational use. We're about six months into this Colorado marijuana experiment of sorts, and we're told right now business is still booming. In fact, one pot shop owner says he sees about 10,000 customers every month. About 20% or so are coming from out of state. It makes you wonder how many people are getting high and hitting the road. Colorado State Patrol says they just started keeping track of marijuana specific DUI numbers and month to month so far we're seeing about 10 to 15 percent of total DUIs are marijuana related so they're still seeing more people driving under the influence of alcohol. The other issue that's popped up has to do with marijuana edibles. This is one of those marijuana infused chocolate bars. Small but potent. It has 100 milligrams of THC in it. So this is the equivalent of 10 doses or servings of marijuana. People are getting into trouble for eating too much. Overall, a lot of Coloradans will say they believe that legalizing marijuana has been a good thing, especially if you look at the tax money. Colorado has already collected more than $11 million in marijuana taxes this year. We know a lot of other states are watching Colorado. Is this the beginning of the end of pot prohibition? We'll wait and see. But we do know people who are cannabis enthusiasts are currently stocking up on their strawberry diesel.